Frankfurt High School is proud to bring you episode 8 of the Tradition of Excellence. This month's interview brings you Frankfurt alumni Adriana Martel from the class of 2014. Adriana is the athletic trainer here at FHS. She was a five-sport athlete and involved in numerous clubs. Adriana explains how her experiences in hot dog athletics helped lead her in her career today. I truly enjoyed how she explains the importance of hard work ethic and relationships being keys in finding success. I hope you connect with her words the same way I did. Hey Hot Dogs, my name is Corelli Montes. Thanks for joining us here on the Hot Dog Network for episode eight of the Tradition of Excellence with class, of, class alumni of 2014, Adriana Martel. I personally know Adriana Martel uh, from being a student aide this fall with her. So how are you doing this morning? I'm doing well, thank you for having me. It's good to hear. Uh, what were you involved with in high school? Um, in high school, I was involved in CRASH, Z Club, NHS, I ran track for four years. I played basketball for four years. Um, and then in the fall, I was a little bit, you know, everywhere. I played volleyball one year, cross country, sophomore and junior year. And then I switched over to soccer my senior year. So you were very involved in sports. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. everywhere. <laughs> uh, what have you done since high school or how did high school help you with what you're doing now? So I graduated in 2018 with a Bachelor of Science in Athletic Training, and then I became the athletic trainer here at Frankfurt. Um, but now I'm graduating with a Master in Healthcare Administration from IUPUI. That's good to hear. Uh, when did you know that this was a career pathway you wanted to do? So I was a little bit undecisive when I was in high school. I knew I wanted to go into the medical field, but really didn't know what. Um, I didn't want to be a doctor of medicine per se. Yeah. I didn't want to do that. I knew that was a lot of schooling. Um, but then I ended up tearing my ACL my senior year, which required uh, like pretty much a six months of no sports. And sports is what I had done, you know, yeah. since freshman year. Yeah. Um, and so that was really hard for me. But then I met our athletic trainer here at the high school um, when I tore my ACL because I was really never injured. And she really helped me prepare and um, redo rehab and up to where I was 100% and I could be able, I mean, I tore it fall in the fall season and I was able to run a track and I thought that was pretty cool. Um, just the fact that I was able to do it here at school and I didn't, didn't have to go to a clinic. Um, so that really helped me um, start my career path into, um, I guess, more rehab because I didn't want to be an athletic trainer then. I was actually on the path to become a physical therapist, which was kind of the same thing, I yeah. guess, but more working in a clinic mm -hmm. um, with older, you know, yeah. the older population. But once I actually did clinicals and um, saw what they actually did, it wasn't what I wanted to do. And so I switched back over to athletic training um, before it was too late, I guess. So, yeah, I ended up graduating with that um, in 2018. Yeah. But now, I mean, I knew then that it wasn't a lifetime, you know, career just because I did want to start a family. So I switched over and I'm still in um, the healthcare field, but more in administration. Yeah. Uh, did you do any sports there in uh, college? I did not. No. no, I was going to run track, but I knew it was going to be difficult with athletic training mm -hmm. as well. And I really wanted to focus on um, the future per se, mm -hmm. rather than doing what I enjoyed. Yeah. Okay. Well, if you could go back to your freshman self, what would you tell yourself? Oh my gosh, that seems so long ago. Um, I think really focusing on the definition of being smart. I think everyone just kind of gets, you know, I think enveloped into what that is. I think it's more of like working hard rather than being smart. Mm -hmm. I think you can get good grades and not be smart per se, but rather than working hard in the classroom, in and out of the classroom as well, being well-rounded. I think you have to be well-rounded and just not be too much involved in one thing, but also being involved in other things as well. Oh, yeah. So I think just not being too focused on, you know, you have to be smart but rather than you have to have good relationships, you have to focus on what you love and you have to really rely on others as well. Because sometimes you just rely on yourself, yeah. you know, to get to where you want to do. Uh, but I think focusing on what others, um, you know, and what the qualities that they have in order to get there and networking to be able to do what you love in the future. There you have it, Hot Dogs. Thank you for joining us for episode eight of Tradition of Excellence with Adriana Martel. Till next time, this is Corelli Malta signing off.